And hopefully you've enjoyed all of the video content on Linda for Facebook and learned a little bit more about how brands are using that platform to advertise to and engage with their potential customers. Um, before we move on from Facebook, I just want to share with you a really neat case study um, of how Facebook advertising has been successful. Um, and the example I have is from the Miami Dolphins. Um, they recently have a new stadium and they wanted to generate excitement uh, with their fans in South Florida, um, have them tour the, the new stadium. And then their ultimate goal for this paid advertising campaign on Facebook was to increase season ticket sales um, and to increase the number of members they had in their season ticket package. So they ran a campaign on Facebook and they targeted um, Kind of everyone in the South Florida area, they looked at interests that had to do with football um, and local events and entertainment, and they shared this ad. And so if you clicked, if you see that little sign up button down there in the bottom right hand corner of the Facebook ad, you were directed to a little window in Facebook that looked like this. And so all you had to do was enter your full name, your email and your phone number. Right. Very simple. Um, and so that's how the Miami Dolphins paid to use Facebook. And so they ran this campaign for a couple of months, um, November and December in 2015. And here's their results. Um, they had 20 times the expected return on their ad spend on Facebook. They generated 4,600 high quality leads, which was more than any other Facebook campaign um, to date through the end of 2015. And they sold over 200 season ticket memberships from those leads. Um, so definitely Facebook can be very successful to reach a niche group of people and help drive drive um, traction, whether your campaign is going to uh, increase likes, increase signups or increase sales. And the great thing about this is that not only did the Miami Miami Dolphins sell 200 season ticket memberships, but now they have an email database and a phone number database of 4,000. 600 so they can continually market to those people and hopefully continue to increase ticket memberships over time. The next platform we're going to talk about uh, paid advertising on is Twitter. Um, Twitter ads predominantly take the form of the shape of regular tweets. And so they look very similar to regular tweets. Twitter does have a uh, relatively new option called Twitter cards um, that will appear in your Twitter stream in a non-intrusive manner. But we're going to focus on just um, promoted tweets in this class, which is their basic and most used form of paid advertising. Um, in addition to those promoted tweets, which you can see in the big screen in the stream there. Uh, Facebook also has promoted follow and promoted trends. And so these all kind of follow the same um, same advertising group on this platform. Um, as you know, even paid content must be timely and relevant. All content on Twitter must be timely and relevant. And that doesn't change for um, paid content. And so advertisers work really hard to make sure when they are promoting a tweet or a trend or their account, uh, that they are working very hard to make sure that it's as up to date as possible. What's different on Twitter than Facebook is that in order to advertise a promoted tweet or a promoted trend or follow on Twitter, you have to already have an active organic Twitter account. And yes, it, it has to be active being the key word there. So you can't just open a Twitter account and begin advertising today. Um, they won't let you do that. So if you do create, uh, if you do have an organic Twitter account, you already have a foot in the door over those brands who do not have a organic Twitter account. And so like Facebook, uh, Twitter has a list of preset campaign options to choose from. Um, but most brands today are focusing on engagement, community growth and conversion. Um, and so in Twitter, you are going to watch a video on creating a promoted tweet um, in Linda. I'm sorry. You're going to watch a video on how to create a promoted tweet. And it's going to walk through kind of the process of promoting your tweet on Twitter and explain why generally that's the starting point for all businesses who are new to Twitter ads.